What is going on people of YouTube? My host is here. welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, I've got my captaincy picks and a few hours later, I'll have the game week 9 differentials as well. And I've not got a lot of time, so let's start off by saying this. My captaincy picks last week were shite. Um, it was just Alexis that got an assist out of all five of them. Benteke scored minus points. That's a blip. I feel like I'm in good form, so let's have a look at who my first pick is. We're going to start off with West Ham's only player, Dimitri Payet, who comes in at a whopping price of £9.4 million. Of course, he plays for West Ham, just said that, and is picked by just 13.1% of people. So, possibly a captaincy differential, maybe. Last five games, 33 points, one goal, four assists, six bonus points, and one clean sheet. He's very vital to the team, and uh, considering who they've got this weekend, I think it's really a good chance for him to show what he's worth. Next up, we have Romelu Lukaku of Everton. This guy is a beast. He comes in just 0.1 more than, uh, than Payet at £9.5 million. Selected by basically double the people of Payet, though, so not much of a differential captaincy pick there. In the last five games, check this out. 47 points, 6 goals, 1 assist, 10 bonus points. This guy's a beast. He faces an away trip to Burnley. Who likes to concede goals? It's a match made in heaven. Following on from that, our third and completely in the middle of all our picks is Alexis Sanchez. Now this guy, you know, he is, you know, the pinnacle of Arsenal. He's the spearhead, but he is very, very good. Very, very pricey though. £11.3 million is currently valued at, selected by just a bit more, or just a bit less, sorry, than Lukaku, 23.7%. In the last five games, 33 um, points. Uh, three goals. I lost my journey for three goals to assist, three bonus points, and one clean, two clean sheets. I'm sorry, I wrote that down wrong. And uh, Sanchez, he's a pretty good player, and um, I think you know any game, you know, facing against Barcelona or Barnett, he's going to get himself on the score sheet. So he's definitely worth a risk. Our pick number four for this week is Coutinho. I said a, a worth a risk in uh, Sanchez. It's probably the first actual risk because you don't know which Liverpool midfielder is going to score. However, I'm pretty confident in this one. If they do score any points on, unless it's a nil-nil again, I don't highly doubt that. Um, I think it's going to go through Coutinho because it'll be play, hopefully we will be playing further forward again. Sturridge will drop back to the bench because he doesn't like to play in the uh, Klopp way. Lallana will come back into the team allowing Coutinho to go forward. And it's a player of his sort of skill. His passing is you know, shooting, crossing ability that can really unlock play, uh, teams like West Brom and Tony Pulis like defences. And I think Coutinho is a, you know, look at this game week, rubbing his hands, licking his lips, thinking, you know, the FPL points are going to be fluid throughout me today. And lastly, we've got Arnautovic, get to the chopper, otherwise known as. He plays for Stoke, currently valued at £7.2 million, pounds, the cheapest player on here. And he's a huge, huge risk. In the last five game weeks, he scored just 16 points. One goal, one assist, zero bonuses, one clean sheet, however, in the last game week against Sunderland. But he's selected by 1.4% of people, so if he does do really well, you've got a captaincy differential. And I think with Stokes' come upcoming fixtures, he's going to be in really good spirits. He got an assist in the last game. Hopefully, this can spur him on to a really good performance this week. Well, that is that for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And who are you captaining for this game week? Any of the five I just mentioned, or someone else that you think could do well? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'll try to reply to your comments. Sorry if I don't. I'm just very, very busy. But do keep replying, and I do read every single one. But thank you for watching. Hopefully, you have enjoyed, and peace.